Now, um, I was going to work on this reset default to put everything back to normal, but then I was thinking, this is an options menu whereby somebody can customize the game to their to their liking. Okay. Um, so maybe this reset defaults maybe is not such a great idea. Now the issue with the options menu at the moment is it, it will work fine while you're still in the level. But then as soon as you, for example, die and go back to the main menu and then reload the options, everything gets reset back to default anyway. Okay, with the exception of anti-aliasing and fog. So that, that will pretty much sort out that reset defaults except for these two. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this reset defaults out. So this default button, I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to delete it. Uh, but I do need to ensure that anti-aliasing and fog are restored for the next time that the player plays that. Otherwise, it's going to be showing that it's checked to begin with, but yet they're not going to be on. Okay, it's going to be confusing. The reason for this is that whenever you change a post-processing profile, okay, it changes it permanently until you change it back again. Okay, so we're, we're going to force that. Um, so if we take a look at our scripts then on the um, options controls. Okay, so what we've done, we've effectively, um, we've got a couple of post-processing profiles in there called default and night vision, and we've just simply enabled either false or true. Okay, we're going to do exactly the same thing, but on the level load once, once we die. All right, so uh, let's just highlight both of these. Oh, actually, first, let me just highlight this one. Control and C, and um, it was the menu load script. Okay, so make sure you open this one, menu load. Uh, at the top, we need to be using this post-processing. Okay, so we're going to go back to options controls again, and we're going to highlight both the post-processing profiles. And we're going to put those in the top here. Okay, and now uh, on the start, just before it loads scene, and definitely do it before that, otherwise it's just going to load the next scene and won't even run anything after that. Um, we're simply going to... The default and the night vision were enabled. We're going to put them... Oh, well, we're going to put them all back to true, actually. And in fact, let's do this anti-on as well. Let's, let's put them all... Well, actually, no, the, the anti-on, we, we don't need to worry about that. It will get reset when the scene reloads. So just those four. Okay, we're going to go to um, menu load again, and we're going to paste them in here. Okay, and then it's going to load the next scene. So it's basically just going to switch everything back on. All right, so let's now save this and we need to find our death panel and oh no maybe it was in the options where, where did I put this is it on the canvas oh okay so now I'm looking for the script <laughs> um, was it a Oh, the menu load, there it is, the object at the bottom. Okay, I got a little bit confused there because we've got multiple things that are reliant upon each other. So now we've got a default and a night vision that need fill in. So let's drag horror night PP into default and horror night vision into night vision. And they're obviously found in assets, flooded grounds and scenes. Okay, and that will basically reset everything when you die. And obviously if you have to uh, go through the game again it's just a case of setting everything back up to your the way you like it